welcome to Board Grandma Designs. Today I'll be showing you how I do my decoupage on an artboard with napkins. My name is Leela and I'm from Northwest Florida. While in the park, I was asked by the artist Sarah, who is painting a ship's wheel around our old oak tree. It's a century old, I believe, and I said yes. And she had other children and other volunteers help along the way. And I'm across from the pelican tree for the past two farmers markets. It's a bit hot and it's not so shady but that's okay. Look at that view. It's St. Andrew's Bay and we get a bay breeze blowing. And that's my tent right there next to the bench. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is work on a board. And somebody said something about a pig. So I thought I'd use a napkin to do a pig. it out of a napkin and then I had these fussy cut poppies. I'm gonna set this to the side. I got the little pigs in on Etsy. And then these are just scraps. I keep making all kinds of scraps. And then I'm gonna when to stop. So, really I think I'm gonna use have been enjoying the market. I did the market twice since I've seen you guys. And I wasn't really ready for it because I don't have a whole lot of inventory. Um, my time was being spent on trying to prepare things to be able to do it. All right. So, I'm going to make little designs. This has already got some stuff on it from before. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do take some of these hearts, do something like that. These on here, here, and there, and everywhere. Use this guy again. A chandelier, I'll just kind of put that there, and some of these right here, and then I'll tear this and put a little design there, maybe a design here. And I'm gonna put this on top of this and rub it all over. I think this is just a regular print paper, it could be part of the mail. No, it's print. Paper. Okay. So the white should come up. See? I think that's kind of neat. And then I'm going to pull these up to the side. That's a pretty spread these out so it didn't stick on each other. Look at there. I think that 
it's so pretty. All right. So there's that. So I don't have any pink, I don't think. Pink, think. Oh, I do. It is candy pink. It's a matte acrylic by Apple Barrel, and I believe this came from Walmart a long time ago. Keep a lot of things up in my she shed. I'm going to shake that up. I'm thinking I want that to dry just a bit. But I got these metallics at their acrylics. And there are several different colors. There's um, it says Crafters Art Basics, Amethyst, Ruby, Lime, Turquoise, Gunmetal. Silver, saffron, that says yellow. I normally don't buy paint from this place, but I was in Dollar General and as I was walking by, I spotted this and I thought, oh, well, those are interesting colors. They're small tubes and not a bad price. I don't remember the price, but. Anyways, I thought, well, let me let me just grab them and play with them. It won't hurt. So I did, and they're translucent, and I really love them. So I don't know. I think I want to put this uh, turquoise on here. I know I was going for pink, but I don't know. I think I want turquoise. I'll put that there. Kind of roll it. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. While I'm making this video, I now have 54 subscribers thank you for subscribing and liking my videos a few of you I've met at um, the farmers market I was so excited it's my second farmers market being alone and I am across from a pelican tree if that makes sense It's kind of um, hot in my little spot, um, but I'm going to figure out, I don't have a plug-in near me, but I'm going to figure out how I can keep all of us cool when you guys come by. i got a bench beside me. I love visiting with you guys. Um, I had a young lady sit down beside me and she and I chit chatted for a while and she was so hot and I felt bad. I, all I had was my fan that my little sister gave me. Which my little sister is there and my adopted sister is there. And they both came and gave me big hugs because they're on the opposite end. So here this is. It says turquoise but it doesn't, I don't know, does it look to you. I'm seeing more of a like a sea foam green or something. But it's summertime. I guess that's where my mind is right now. But isn't that beautiful? So pretty. Alright, I'm going to set these to the side. Okay, I'm going to give you a different view. It's from my cell phone, so I have a lot of memory. <laughs> so anyways, it's real pretty. I think I'm going to add another color there. Not quite sure what. Should I add the pink? 
I don't know how that would look, but I'm gonna be making a mistake. Oh, I don't know, here goes. I think I put enough on here. Is that too pink? Do you think? <sighs> Let's see. All right. Okay. Let me get a big piece of paper before this dries. Oh, Lordy. Oh, that's real pretty. I don't think I want that. That's pretty. That's ugly. Let's see. Ah, oh, this one is roll off things. I think I'll put it on there. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to stick it right there. You guys see? Roll it, roll it. All right. Massage it, give it good massage. So I've been trying to figure out all the little things I could do with these gel pulls. I never heard of it before until I stumbled across this group and I joined the group and I kept watching it and I'm like, I really want to be a part of this because they're having all kinds of fun and I don't know why I thought this was just so neat. And so I wrapped up in this and my jump journals and I haven't been back to making my jump journals. No. Oh. Okay, not all of it's pulling up. That's okay. Look, guys. Isn't it pretty? Oh, a lot, of, a lot of you might not like the shimmer, but, you know, I've said it before. I'm like an old crow. I like shiny things. That is just beautiful. I put it on this, I guess it's print paper. A very thick one. It's nothing I purchased or anything, but it's weird when these acrylic um, paints go on. It it changes the whole feel of the paper. But that's so pretty. Oh, I just love it. So I'm gonna keep that just the way it is. All right, so we got some more here. All right, so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna put here next. Should I try a yellow color or a blue? I don't know if I wanna use, I use that one. Should I use a different one? Hmm, it's purple. Where's Ruby? Ruby. Yellow. Saffron. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to go for the Ruby. I know it doesn't really look like a pink, but I'm going to do it. There's not a whole lot in here. Sorry. Hear that? Hear all those rude noises. Okay. I took a nap, but I still feel drained. Not as drained as I was. <laughs> Monday evening, Tuesday, Wednesday. Lord. I went back to work on Thursday, and I was. Love myself. 
All right, so I don't know that I want to look, do pink. No, wear pink. So let me get my basket here and see what I got. Oh, I got ugly old brown. I don't think that's going to. There's a bright red. Nope. Bright red. Nope. There's that. What's that? Bimini blue matte acrylic quick dry easy cleanup apple barrel most of these are apple barrel and expensive okay that kind of reminds me of a pig I don't know why cute little sweet pig Before our hurricane, I was sketching and making things. Watercolor. I haven't really been doing that much lately. Okay, so what do I want to do here? I got some stamps in this drawer beside me. <laughs> I couldn't find a jelly plate and couldn't figure out what in the world these people were doing and I went to Hobby Lobby and they didn't have it. So I created my own with the stamp on the back of the stamp. But I have these stamps now. That's desperate, isn't it? That's why the back of this looks like that. I made a video of that about it you can go back and look <laughs> all right let's see what that looks like okay all right i'm just gonna stamp that up there. there we go just stamp it all around okay you guys Oh my goodness, I'm not like a card stamp or stamper person, but I found these cute little stamps at the Dollar General. They're really into the arts and crafts. So, I don't know how you go about doing this. I'm going to just lay this here. Put some hearts and squigglies down. Hope you're enjoying your summer. It's already a hot one in the park. Little butterfly. I am working in a park that I also got married in. And this past Saturday, there was a lady beside me who makes beautiful wreaths. Um, she and her husband also got married in the park. Same park, same gazebo. But now that us artists and stuff is taken over, <laughs> I don't know about the weddings. There's a little doily, doily here, stick it here, put that there, kind of pull that up, oh, that's pretty, oh shit, what's on that ugly paper, huh? Oh no, I pulled too much up. Well, that was sort of a disaster. <laughs> Use this.
hope you're enjoying your summer. I just wish I had a pool in my backyard now. Like my daughter. Okay. So, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to use this paper that I just used and put it here and see what happens. Just throw it in the middle. And my way out. Upward and downward and outward. when you should pull if you should leave it on and then pull it I think you do both ways there's still a lot left on the plate look at there huh. see the flowers it is still golden it is shimmer that is pretty and I put ruby down you can even tell I got ruby on there the blue kind of soaked that up. But what, oh, I had put that gold. It's just lots of gold bleeding through. I know not everybody likes gold. Some people just like silver more than gold. So I've heard. I think that's 24 karat gold right there, actually. Green, green, green. This is probably, this is folk art. I have no idea where I got this. I think my honey did this. This is a satin acry acrylic paint, multi-surface. And it's showing on here, glasses, like one glasses and stuff like that. I don't, you know, I guess that's, it was six ninety nine back in its day. So I'm gonna squirt that on. It's probably, and then I'm gonna put a little weight. Put some white in there and tone down that dark green. Which it did. right now. All right. So I'm just going to use some stamps. These. This is a little flower. And these are some, this is from Stamping Up. My sister used to make cards and she was selling these. And I bought them from her. Not knowing exactly what I was going to do with them, but probably cringing and then so are all the rest of you stamping up <laughs> folks.
artist on the other side of me, he was on the other side of the bench, I really liked his setup. When you walk into his setup, it's um, like it walking into an art studio. He takes photographs and then he makes some um, framed. Oh, what would you call it? It's like stitching. It's really neat. His photographs and then he does his own work. Probably put that on too soon because that's still way too wet. <sighs> and I should have pulled it. So all this might be a big blob. Should I do it? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Just my roll off paper and see my butterfly stamp right there. So I put the yellow metallic down. Can you see that? Not pretty. Butterflies, it's kind of shimmering yellow. Just kind of like gold. So with all of that. know what I want to use next. Try to let that dry. Sometimes if I don't like my voice or what I'm talking about, I'll do music or voiceover. I was told that I talk too much, so I do realize I do, I guess. I know seemingly I'm talking to myself at an object that is recording me right now, but you guys are out there and will hear me eventually. <sighs> so this gel plate I got on Amazon and so did I. You know, was it Amazon? I'm having second thoughts. Perhaps it was Joanne's online. No, I think it was Amazon. Pretty sure it was. Okay, I'm not really sure what I want to put down. I just want to wet it so I can pull it up. And if I pull it up, I'll mess this up. I was thinking about putting it over this and seeing what happens. just, you know, clean my brow off of. 
Look, it's still. Alright. That was the little arrow. I don't know. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is just use plain white. Would I be making a mistake? It's going to show white through it. 